So then this is how the package comes. It's uh, just wrapped in a cellophane. Um, there's some bits and bobs on the back. Nothing really around the sides. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's get into it. So first thing you're greeted with is uh, a nice patch, which is great. That's going to be going on my plate carrier and uh, your quick start guide. And um, this is the uh, programming via the trigger card. Uh, I do have a, um, a gate Titan, so oops, sorry, the advanced set. So I've already got the, uh, the lead for that. So this is an accessories box or insulation kit. And the ester itself. Let's just carefully pull this out. Put the box to one side. Uh, and the first thing that is now suitable is a single sided uh, board as opposed to the gate Titan which is as um, excuse me has uh, this side that sits at the one side of the gearbox and there's a part that slots in on the other side and, and your gears go through this so I'm really uh, looking forward to get this installed um, so yeah uh, what I'll do now I'll get my AEG out and uh, I'll strip it down and uh, we'll take it from there Okay, so this is the gun, the AEG, uh, that the um, Esther is going to be uh, placed in. This is a uh, Crytek uh, Trident uh, SPR-M, because of the M-Lock version. Uh, this was a gift last year from my daughter and my wife. Um, so what I'm going to do, take the stock off. Uh, by the way, this is a Mission First Tactical um, MFT, something like that. Um, and it enables me to get these... Uh, nice square batteries into the stock um, I also resoldered the wires so it was uh, for Dean's because it comes mini Tamiya uh, which is good because um, the Esther itself that's uh, that's wired for Dean's so I'm all ready to go uh, okay then let's get it stripped down and I'll see you when it's done okay so now the gearbox has been taken out the AEG and the gearbox has been taken apart um, so then there are a couple of standard parts that are still here. Uh, well, there's quite a few actually. Uh, for instance, the uh, cylinder head. Uh, the cylinder's been replaced from the, the stock brass one um, to the SHS one. Uh, the, the trigger trolley is still in there, but that's the signal wire, the white one there that goes to the MOSFET. Uh, this is not like a programmable MOSFET or anything like that. It just protects your, your, tr um, your trigger contacts from arcing, etc. The gears are standard. Well, um, you can't really change the gears as such because uh, these are proprietary to this gearbox. This gearbox itself is slightly thinner in profile when you look down that way. Um, and as a result, you have to use uh, uh, the Crytax arm. Uh, I do have a set of SHS 13s in ones. Um, I could uh, take them to a friend who would um, uh, machine them so they would fit, but you know, I'm I'll see how it goes with this, um, the, the installation in this Esther. So, there's quite a lot that needs to be removed out of this. In fact, um, I'm going to take it all out and I'm going to give the gearbox a good clean, get rid of all this um, excess uh, lubricant. Uh, I'm going to give the gears a clean with some alcohol uh, and then I'm going to re-grease everything. Well, I'm going to install the MOSFET in that first and then um, I'm going to uh, test it in uh, increments, um, in, install it, um, plug my phone in, test it, see if that's okay, then then start putting the rest of the components in. So uh, I'm going to strip the gearbox out when it's all clean and it's ready to have the ester stuck in. Uh, I'll come back, see you in a while. Okay, so the gearbox has been cleaned off, everything's been removed. Um, okay, what you see here this is where, in the past, um, I had a different uh, trigger system installed, which was this one. That's the Leviathan by Jeftron. Word of warning, don't bother. That's just my opinion. If you're having uh, great success with it, brilliant, but I didn't. I just had nothing but issues to the point where it started to smoke. Um, it's a good job the gearbox was apart and on the installation. Uh, it started to smoke. Uh, I took the battery off. Uh, I got in touch with Jeff Tron. They says, "Yeah, send it back." So I sent it back. They repaired it, and it's been in that box ever since. I just, you know, don't trust it. So, yeah, um, 
because like I said, the uh, the gearbox for the Crytac is proprietary. There are certain uh, channels that um, stop you from installing uh, the gate style MOSFETs, i.e. Esther or uh, the Titan or indeed a Leviathan. Uh, so uh, quite a bit of this has to be removed so that the wires can easily be channeled around the gearbox uh, and at the back. So um, what's next? Uh, the installation of the uh, Esther, I suppose. So uh, let's take a look at what we don't need to put back in the gearbox. Okay, uh, we don't need the uh, the cutoff lever. We do need the hour rail. We do need the trigger. We don't need this wire harness. We don't need the trigger trolley. Um, what else? Oh, we do need the selector plate, but we need to remove that metal plate there. And there's a sticker that has to be uh, has to be placed there. To be fair, I might just leave that on and put the sticker over the top. We'll see how it goes. Um, the gears have obviously got to go back in. They're going to have a clean. Um, on this side, there's a uh, unlike the gate Titan where the the MOSFET is in two sides. You've got a side that goes here and then the side which uh, pushes down. So it's uh, it's on both sides. It's just the one side here, but you do have a sticker to place in this area there, so that the optical sensors can read the pull of the trigger and. Uh, I presume the the gears um, the gear movements as well. So uh, we'll sort that out and we'll get back to you. Okay, so far so good. Um, the Esther is installed. Uh, the screw there, the wiring's coming through. Um, these are a little bit proud, but they'll sit flush once the the top of the gearbox is on. Uh, also, there were some um, extra parts I had to grind off this side of the gearbox to allow this sticker to uh, sit flat in there. Now this is a registration sticker so that these all sensors uh, can uh, <coughs> have something to um, reference to. Uh, that one there to there is the cam sensor. So for that there sits in that bearing and it, tell, it knows when uh, the uh, the, the gears going round and what this does it just replaces the the cutoff lever for semi and cycle detection so we're going to get everything in there and uh, i'll get back to you when that's done so everything's back in place now uh, the gears have had a new greasing i replaced uh, the piston um yeah it was getting a bit of a tear up so i thought you know what i've got one i'll replace it um, uh, what I do like about the Esther is you you can use the uh, safety catch um, lever. What this does, it's a, a physical block to stop the uh, trigger from coming forward on a, on a gate tighten because you've got the board that sits on top. Uh, it emits that from the gearbox. So, uh, yeah, that's a good feature. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put the top back on. I'm going to get the spring and the spring guide back in. I'm going to put the gun back together. I'm going to do some test firing. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to install the battery into the uh, the stock. I've uh, changed the stock over because it's been a while since I filmed last. Uh, there's the Dean's connector. I'm going to have to just stop filming in a second. But what you should really hear is an audible buzz from the motor to let you know that the system's activated. Okay, so I think you just about heard it there. So... That's all. Um, that's all up and running now. So safe. Yeah. Semi. And full auto. Back to safe. So you can see there's a bit of a trigger reset, uh, but you can adjust that in the um, in the app or uh, via your PC. So uh, that is pretty much it. It's um, it does have its flaws, however, uh, because the, it's controlled by light sensors. Uh, I found that uh, walking because I have used this um, since I installed it just to give it a shake down. 
uh, if you have it on semi and you're walking back to the safe zone and um, uh, sometimes a, a beam of light can get in, the, the gun will cycle, you know, it'll activate, which isn't the best. Uh, so just be aware of that. For the price, the gate Asta, yeah, I'll give it a thumbs up. It's uh, it's just what you need. Um, if you want to get into the, the MOSFET side of it, there, there are a few other optical MOSFETs out there on the... Um, that you can buy from different manufacturers, the Perun. Uh, there's obviously its bigger brother, the, the Gate Titan, and this one, and uh, there are a couple of others in the pipeline, but um, as for a polished product that is relatively good customer service and uh, it's readily available, so a thumbs up. Um, I'll see if I can get some gameplay in a further video, but for now, Thanks for joining me on the first video I've done to do with uh, anything airsoft. And if you comment uh, that you'd like to see my other AEGs and what's in them, let me know and I'll do a video. So thanks for joining me.